Detained halfway around the world for nearly four months, this Miamisburg man stuck in North Korea with no way to even talk with his family. They are now desperate for his safe return home. Fowl is in custody for leaving a Bible in his hotel room. Now the case developing tonight. Nine on your side anchor Julie O'Neill joins us live from Lebanon with insight into what's really going on in this case. Julie. Well, Clyde, I'm in Lebanon where the family has close ties. They go to church here, although their church is remaining silent, referring us to their attorney. He is being very cautious about what is said because of the country we're dealing with, or should I say, not dealing with. Tatiana Fowl, her two sons and daughter, appear for the first time with their attorney fighting to get Jeffrey Fowl home. Tim Teep starting with an apology to the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea. The family would like to express its heartfelt apology to the people and the government of the DPRK. Teep says Fowl's wife and kids did not want to speak. We certainly don't want to say the wrong thing, as you can imagine. Apologize to the people, government of the United States, as well as to the people and government of the DPRK. Fowl himself apologetic and cautious in this video released August 1st. Fowl is accused of actions inconsistent with a tourist after leaving a Bible in a public bathroom that one international news agency is reporting had his name and pictures in it. He reportedly told authorities there he must have dropped it. Remember, North Korea has no diplomatic relations with the U.S. Sweden does and is on this. What they're doing exactly, I don't know, but I know that they have been uh, trying to assist in any way they can to, uh, to meet with Jeff and to seek his release. Teep says the kids have written to President Obama. Tatiana has written to him and the other former presidents, along with anyone else she can think of. As the months pass and the money runs out, Jeff, a city worker for Moraine, whose benefits are dwindling. I know that she's under a great deal of stress. Um, I, in, in talking with the kids, uh, I know they miss their dad, and, and my, my heart breaks for them. It really does. Apparently, Fowl enjoyed traveling to exotic places and never saw this coming. You see over my shoulder here, Lebanon's famous fixture, the Golden Lamb, of course, owned by the Portman family. We're told Senator Portman is on this, along with other leaders and the State Department, although the details of what they're doing is being kept very hush-hush. I couldn't help uh, but ask the attorney, had he reached out to Dennis Rodman, who has well-known ties to North Korea? He said yes a couple of months ago, and he hasn't heard back. Live in Lebanon, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you.